Watching a show? Huh? What? Camera? That goes it so long to get the highway from our line. Right, I know. It's the white guy. Excuse me, you're interrupting my video. I'm, what is your name, please? Charlie. Charlie what? Are you just recording random people? Charlie what? Why would I, why do I What's your you last anything? name? Where, or do you call, work at this place you're, behind you're, you? You're Nick the Greek? Do you work people. at this establishment? Yes, I do. Nick the Greek? Is there yeah. Bonus, okay, go ahead and call the cops. I don't owe you any explanations, I and I don't care about. Are recording random people walking by, and it's not okay? Yeah, it is. Oh, says who? Says the business I'm right here in front of. It's not okay. Well, they don't own the sidewalk. Okay, well, I don't want to be recorded. Well, then get away from my camera. Okay, I'm going to call someone. Cause call you're... whoever you want. That's, that's fine. It's not illegal to record in, can in public. It is people that don't want you recording them. No, it's not. Okay. You're stupid. Go back inside and go back to work. Tell you something. You can record out as you want, but if that was like, another guy... They, she would take that camera and smash it right in her face. Right? Are you threatening me right now? No, Did you just threaten me on camera? I would tell you Did that. you know that in this state it's illegal to threaten someone with violence? No, I'm not saying You just committed a crime, buddy. I advise you get the hell out of here. Leave me alone. Oh. Leave me alone. Do you understand that? I'm telling you that. It happened. You're harassing me. Go away. In Go another, talk to somebody who wants to talk in to you. another state. In another state. Go talk to somebody who wants to talk to you. State. You're harassing me. Leave me alone. In another state. Leave me alone. I would smash the yeah, I know you're 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 threatening me. Yeah. You're a violent person. Go away. Go away. You're a violent person. Go away. It's not illegal to film in public. Go to some country where it is if you don't like it. Commie. I'm a communist. Yeah, you don't believe in the Bill of Rights. You ever heard of the First Amendment? Get the hell out of here, punk. I'm, not, I'm just standing on the side.
Say that again, I couldn't hear you. Couldn't hear you. Don't film it. Couldn't hear you. Don't film it. Don't fucking film it. Are you gonna do what? Bubblegum Alley here in San Luis Obispo and a couple of the employees uh, tried to come out and uh, tell me that I didn't have the right to film uh, so I decided to go live uh, so we're transmitting live from Nick the Greek in San Luis Obispo uh, and we'll see uh, the one of the employees threatened me physically and the other one threatened to call the cops so I'm waiting to see if the cops arrive, uh, which I'd be very surprised if they did, and uh, then uh, see if this guy comes out to follow up on his threat uh, of physical violence. Uh, regardless, uh, this live video will be added to the uh, permanent video that goes up. Uh, and we'll do uh, two videos, one will be of Bubblegum Alley and the other one will be just Nick the Greek. So, shooting live from Nick the Greek. And uh, I expect Nick the Greek will probably be losing a couple of employees uh, if the owners see the video. Uh, both of their employees behave pretty badly. So um, just a reminder to people, uh, if you see someone filming in public, uh, it's none of your business. <laughs> uh, we all have the right to film in public. And uh, if you don't like it, um, go to some country where it's illegal. <laughs> well, for you, we all have to get it. Yeah, you're not. Crystal's, Crystal's dominant. Crystal's almost a Crystal's stupid. was natural. Hers was a hatch. Hers was a fuck. Yeah, Friggin it was hatch. Was the old sky, the first time here, you the wall. It's like a scab in her Strangely, uh, there's this other photographer who's been hovering around, uh, and they don't seem to have any complaints about him taking photographs. Getting a lot of good content from Nick the Greek today. By the way, uh, I've tried the food here and it's not that great. Uh, if you want a good gyro, I'm afraid you're going to have to keep searching. Uh, they actually put potatoes in their gyros here, which is not only untraditional, it's just kind of strange. And this camera is photographing me. This guy's photographing me from inside the store now. 
wonder if we can zoom in on him. So for some reason, I lost my sound recording at this point in the video. Uh, so I'm just going to narrate to you a little bit about what's happening here. Um, so this guy with the camera inside the store uh, is trying to photograph me. Uh, he's got a really fancy, like, $2,000 camera, uh, but for some reason, with his telephoto lens, he can't get a clear shot, um, so he's really struggling with it. I invited him to come out, and uh, that and I told him he could get a clearer shot if he came out of the store and got closer to me, uh, but he didn't want to do that. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's what happened there. Um, this point, uh, I, I'm just waiting to see if the cops are going to show up. You know, uh, they threatened to call the cops, so I'm just waiting to see what happens here. And um, so anyway, then uh, in a minute here, you're going to see uh, the young Greek guy. I'm assuming he's Greek because he was speaking Greek uh, in the video. Uh, comes out again onto the patio area and instructs me uh, not to film him. He kind of says in a threatening way, uh, don't film me, man. And uh, at first I couldn't hear him, so I asked him to, uh, if he could repeat himself. And he says, he said, don't fucking film me. So uh, he, uh, he, he was really uh, triggered and... Uh, Anyway, I said, I, I think I, I goaded him a little bit. I said something like, uh, or you're going to do what, you know? And, uh, and then he said a lot to me in Greek. Uh, I couldn't really understand everything. He, yeah, I, I don't speak Greek, but uh, he said quite a bit to me in Greek. And then he went back in. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is where he comes out here. He comes out here and he's like on the phone with somebody. I think he was on the phone with the owner of uh, the store, maybe. Uh, and then uh, he did a cam back on me, which is typical. Uh, a lot of times you'll see that in these First Amendment audits. People like to do a cam back. First, they tell you that you can't film in public, and then they pull out their camera to film you. Uh, and I thought it was funny, too. They don't like me recording on the sidewalk, but they don't mind the guy with the $2,000 camera inside their store. So maybe he's connected with the store somehow. Um, just don't know. I uh, have no idea, really, uh, why they were triggered to me, because this area where I was filming here, Bubblegum Alley, is actually a really hot kind of tourist destinations and uh, it is arguably the most photographed place in the town of San Luis Obispo so um, it's there's a lot of cameras at Bubblegum Alley a lot of people shoot video and photographs there it's just uh, kind of uh, it's what happens all day long that's what I was doing filming Bubblegum Alley when these people came out to harass me Oh, now he decides he wants to get a picture of my license plate. And he's so proud of himself that he's got a picture of my license plate. And uh, he goes back into the store and he, I could kind of hear the voices coming out of the store a little bit. Uh, and I could hear, like, someone must have asked him what I did when he took a picture of my license plate. Because I heard him telling them uh, that I smiled, which is what I did. I just smiled at him when he took a picture of my license plate uh so anyway uh that's about that and then i'm just uh still waiting for the cops and i was really kind of surprised when the cops showed up because uh you know you you just figure i know there's a couple of other full-time first amendment auditors around san luis obispo county um, so the cops know about First Amendment audits, and uh, so I don't know why they didn't just instruct these people over the phone uh, that uh, there's nothing wrong with filming in public and to leave me alone. But uh, for whatever reason, they decided to come down and investigate the situation. Um, so 
Uh, and the cops did a great job. I have to hand it to uh, the San Luis Obispo Police Department here. Um, they were very professional, very courteous. Uh, they came, they got the information, they left. Um, the officer who approached me, uh, I neglected to get her name and badge number. Um, but, uh, you know, she says, I, I always think it's funny when they walk up because she says, uh, when she walks up to me, she says, uh, you know, people are uncomfortable, you know, that you're filming. And, uh, and so I, you know, I gave her the usual re reply that, you know, you hear a lot of First Amendment auditors use, which is, so what are you, the feelings police? Now you, you go around and uh, enforce people's uh, feelings, you know? I, uh, uh, police are supposed to enforce the law and they shouldn't have to, you know, they've got more important things to deal with than because you feel uncomfortable that there's a guy with a camera in public, you know? So um, it's a real waste of their resources. It's really stupid. Uh, for people to call the cops just because someone's got a camera. If someone's filming, just leave them alone. That's my recommendation. Uh, all right, so that's uh, that. Um, and so we'll, uh, I guess um, it takes a little while for the cops to show up. So uh, I'm just going to end the narration here and then we'll go ahead to the part where the cops show up and I'll complete the narration. So uh, this is where the cops show up, and um, she tells me that people in the store were uncomfortable, and uh, I ask her if she's feelings police, and she says, well, we're whatever you want us to be, you know, we just, we're here to see what's going on. So I told her what happened. I'm here filming Bubblegum Alley, and uh, some, a couple of employees came out of the store to harass me. And I asked them to leave me alone, and they said they were going to call the cops, and I said, go ahead and call the cops. And, uh, and then I sat here and waited for you guys. And uh, I said, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, and she says, okay. Uh, I liked her because right away she comes up and says, I know you're not doing anything wrong. You know, you haven't been accused of doing anything wrong. But, and that's the thing. But we have, you know, uh, people who feel uncomfortable. Well, you know what? If I was a cop and I'd say, well, I'm sorry you feel uncomfortable, but my job is to enforce the law, not your feelings. Uh, so anyway, after this sort of brief exchange, they all go into the store. Uh, I tried to catch uh, some audio from inside the store. Uh, it should have gone closer. I just... I don't know, I was comfortable in my car and I didn't want to get out of my car, but uh, I uh, held the phone up high when they went in there and I tried to uh, catch some of the audio, but obviously my audio wasn't working at all, unbeknownst to me. Uh, I was streaming live uh, and for some reason something went wrong with my live stream and I wasn't catching the audio. Uh, so the cops go into the store uh, they're in there for a while explaining to the people in the store that uh, there's no law against filming in public. And so I wait around for them. Uh, and then uh, I film the cops leaving. Uh, if you decide to do any First Amendment audits, uh, it's really important uh, that you wait till the cops leave before you do. You are filming in public, you have a right to film in public, and you want anyone who's called the cops on you to see the cops leave and do nothing. So they will be schooled and educated and learn that um, it's not okay to harass photographers in public just because you don't like the fact that they're filming. Um, so, uh, Anyway, I'm trying to catch something out of the store, but I didn't catch anything, so this is some pretty boring video. I'll go ahead and edit it out, and then we'll watch the cops uh, drive away. And then after the cops drive away, I wait a few minutes uh, just to see if um, anyone from the store is going to come back out and 
say anything, apologize to me, or, uh, or try to start a fight again, whatever. Uh, but they didn't come out of the store after the cops left, so uh, I um, wrapped it up and uh, called it a day at Nick the Greek. All right, so uh, here's the police uh, coming out of the store and uh, getting ready to leave as they pass me. I thank them for being professional and courteous, for doing a good job and for protecting our civil rights. And uh, then they get in their car and uh, they drive away. So I'm going to uh, catch some footage of the cops driving away. Um, and then uh, I wait around for a while. And there they go. Uh, and they did a great job. Uh, so then I just hang around for a while to see if anybody comes out of the store, but it uh, seems like nobody did, so I left. And that's the story. Uh, so if you uh, feel like it, uh, feel free to give Nick the Greek in San Luis Obispo a call and let him know what you think about the First Amendment uh, and the behavior of their employees. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and post it under this video. Well, there you go, guys. That's my First Amendment audit of Nick the Greek in San Luis Obispo. And uh, we'll be back here to uh, just double-check them, make sure they're respecting our rights to film in public in the future.